Hello everyone, it's Michelle, the Child Care Entrepreneur. Today, we are going to talk about developmental milestones. Now, as you can see, I have, uh, I'm showing you um, my New Jersey Birth to Three Early Learning Standards. And the reason I am showing you this is because these standards are very important when it comes to caring for children. Now, we have to take child development classes and other workshops. Uh, you may have heard of the pyramid model uh, in um, zero to three. All these things are very important because we want to know the developmental milestones of our children just in case we need to pick up on different delays. And so these New Jersey Birth to Three Early Learning Standards talks about a lot of the developmental milestones that we are looking for in children. And of course, some say five, some will say there are seven, uh, but at any rate, they're all um, important. And you may also hear words like indicators or, um, and so they're all the same and they all have um, what we're looking for in terms of child development. And so just to give you a few, now the New Jersey Birth to Three has what they call domains and components. And the domains um, are like the social and emotional development. And then the components are what you're looking for under those domains. And so they have approaches to learning, language development and communication, cognitive development, physical and motor development. And so you'll probably see some others that may also discuss math, uh, reading, literacy, all those types of things. Um, and so, like I said, those are also important and you can look those up and um, find out what the components of those other uh, developmental milestones are. And I'll leave in the description um, a very comprehensive uh, list of um, developmental milestones, what to look for, and just some activities and things to do with your children. So now what do I do in terms of helping my children? and helping parents to uh, learn more about the developmental milestones. Well, I use a series, it's called ASQ3, and it's called Ages and Stages Questionnaire. And this questionnaire is really good at helping parents to identify things that need uh, to be checked out in terms of the developmental milestones. And ASQ3, has um, a packet and it comes in a box like this and it will start from um, infancy like six months and it goes all the way up uh, and so this is very important to have as a family child care divider, uh, provider and what happens with this is the parents will be will be given this and they'll go through a series of questions and so uh, you'll have your questions here. You'll have your baby's information, your personal filing questionnaires, your program information. And so all that's important. And then, okay, and they'll be asked questions, let's say, about communication, gross motor skills, okay, fine motor skills, problem solving. And so you're going to go through a lot of the different uh, developmental uh, milestones here personal and social and then there are a few questions at the end uh, just overall questions for you to answer okay so that would be for the parents the parents will fill that out okay and so what do I do as a provider um, of course I use my my early learning standards but I have daily reports that I fill out and in the daily reports I have a few um, I have my infant and toddler where I um, and you can see down the bottom my developmental skills that we worked on that day as well as things like um, how many diaper changes and naps because those are all very very important um, in a child's development and also I have something very similar, but if you can take a look at the highlighted parts is where I'm really looking. And so this next one has to do with bottle. 
notes, okay? So my bottle notes. Because as the children get older, they are kind of transitioning from the bottle to a cup. And so you can see also down the bottom, developmental skill con skills continue to be introduced and nurtured as your child grows, okay? So I'm looking at several things, but I'm also focusing on that bottle because as they get older, like I said, um, they're kind of weaning themselves off of the bottle, okay? And then there's another one where I now have transitioned to the sippy cup. So then I have my sippy cup notes. And so these are all very important. Um, and I also have down here my developmental skills worked on today. And so as you can see, my daily reports are growing with my children that I care for. And the parents will get this each day um, to let them know what I've worked on and uh, how they've done uh, each day. Okay. And so this one, this one goes up to three. Okay. So now you will begin to see the move to one long nap as children grow into older toddlers. All right. And so you won't see the number of naps down here. It'll be maybe one or two naps. Okay. <clears throat> and then as the child gets older, like about three to five, I have a different um, daily report. And I talk about feelings, things that they worked on, nap times, um, improvements and progress, developmental skills worked on. Uh, we do a STEM uh, project. And now we're talking about toilet training. And so are we using pull-ups or underwear? And so that becomes important as well. <clears throat> And then I have my special reports um, where we discuss, um, we do Read Across America. And then I also have where um, I do the Week of the Young Child, and we do all types of different activities uh, for that. And then my last one that I have has to do with <clears throat> my, um, also talking about feelings, <clears throat> excuse me, nap time. Um, but now we're getting into uh, toilet training that's fully trained. And so now my uh, child I'm caring for is in underwear uh, and or panties, okay? And so that will be given each day to the parents. And that just lets them know what they're doing, um, how they're doing, and the developmental milestone that we worked on. And so you can take this as... Maybe that's something that you, you want to work on. Maybe you, you know, you want to, um, you want to just, just kind of see where the child is developmentally. And so you're making a note of that in your daily reports. Now, our next um, part, we're going to talk about how I take anecdotal notes. And also I do a, um, a report card as well. And so uh, let me take you over to that. All right, so let's talk about the report cards. Now, the report cards that I hand out to the parents um, are not something where they have to be, um, they have to follow this to the T, okay? This is not like a report card, you're getting a grade or anything like that. It just lets the parents know how their child is doing or more specifically what we're working on um, at the child care center. And so I have the report card, um, preschool, two years old. And as you can see, um, it, social emotional skills, uh, work habits, fine motor skills, um, gross motor skills, all those things that are very important um, in the developmental uh, milestones that we talked about. So listening, speaking, music skills, art skills. And so as I told you, um, each uh, developmental milestone may be different depending on uh, what you're working on. And so some of the things that I, on the two-year-old will be working on or begin to work on, um, I get involved in and attend to activities. I can follow directions. I respond well to teacher suggestions. I seek only my fair share of teacher's attention. I am a curious child. I ask questions and I can make choices, all right? And so that is going to be on the um, other one as well. But then you have some specific things on speaking skills. Um, I speak clearly. 
I combine words in uh, to make name. I combine words to name things. I communicate in sentences. And so there's a whole host of other things. And then for self-reliance, I can go to the bathroom by myself. I'm learning to dress myself. I can brush my teeth. And so that is for the two-year-old. The three-year-old is similar, but for theirs, you may find um, things I speak clearly. I communicate in sentences. I can answer some questions. I wait for my turn when speaking in a group. I can use language to communicate my wants and ideas. I am expanding my vocabulary, okay? And so that is what you'll see for the three-year-old. Now this is more um, in depth for the four and five-year-old progress report. And this, will outline a lot of the different things, self-reliance skills, practical skills, social emotional skills, work habits, listening skills, speaking, fine motor, gross motor, okay, reading readiness. And then if you turn on the back here, re um, math readiness. And so, like I said, you'll probably see some with math, with reading, music, art, science, and social studies. Um, okay. And these are all type of readiness skills. Those are for entering kindergarten. And so, as you can see, the different um, types of progress reports that I give out speak to the child's age. But not only that, speak to them, their um, developmental milestones. And so documenting all this, I keep a um, planning based on anecdotal notes and reflections. And this becomes very important because this goes with the child once they leave me. And I keep it, keep all their, the um, folders here in this bin. Um, but so what's in here? All right. So I section off my binder into... Um, the parent, the parent communication log, the daily reports, which I showed you um, previously, anecdotal records, individual um, care plan, web, and then my ASQ3 results. All right. And so um, the anecdotal reflections have to do with what I observed and what I ref I'm reflecting on. And so... I'll have my parent communication log in here, um, what and how I've communicated with the parents. I'll also have my um, daily report, and you'll probably have this filled up because you're going to take it from when the child is an infant up until whenever they um, they leave you. And I also have my observe and reflect grid. Okay, and when you're doing your anecdotal note and observations, you're going to be specific. It is not what you think. It is going to be specific. What the child did that day um, and your reflections on that as it pertains to the developmental uh, areas, okay, that need to be addressed. And then the individual web has to do with some activities that you may want um, to create for that child based on the developmental milestones. Um, or it could be something that they like and that you are trying to assess. And so um, this becomes very helpful with that as well. And then your ages and stages filled out. You want to have that. And so you want to keep these records um, so that you can communicate with your parents the developmental milestones that you have been looking at um, so that you can help them to also look at these and they become very important when you're caring for children okay and so each one may have may do it differently and that's fine so let me know in your comments uh, what you're doing in terms of the developmental milestones or helping your children with their developmental milestones and your child care. All right, and I will leave some information in the description box to help you out. And I'll talk to you in the next video.